Welcome to another Mixed Media Monday. I'm Eric Scott, and I'm here as I am most Mondays, just working on something. Uh, to be honest, today I'm I'm kind of not feeling it. Um, I don't know if you've, I'm sure you've had that feeling like, you know, you sit down and you want to work on something and you're like, I just don't know what I want to do. And so that's kind of how I'm feeling today. I just, you know, I was sitting like, oh, I need to make this video. And then I was like kind of setting stuff up. I'm like, I don't know what I want to do. So I'm just going to play. I'm just going to experiment and see what kind of comes about because, yeah, I don't know. And I think that's a, a really important thing to keep in mind is that as we're working, as we're creating, as we're making, sometimes we don't have it all figured out. And, I, you know, I've always said that I'm the type that I don't envision something in my head and then try to spill it out and try to create that thing that I'm imagining in my head. Um, and a lot of what I do just kind of comes from from working. Uh, and then sometimes, you know, it's like I'll have, I'll have a general direction or an idea in mind or maybe like oh these colors will go together but sometimes I just sit down and I'm just like I don't, I don't know I don't know where to begin I don't know how to begin I don't know um you know it's just it it's something I think every creative person encounters so I'm just going to kind of dive in and see where things go so let's go ahead and switch it over and let's get started so I've got um, a slightly bigger piece of paper I've got a six by eight piece of paper because I just wanted a little bit more room to, to play. I've got some paint and I've got some brushes over here. So I, I'm just going to start out. I'm just going to, I've been really feeling certain colors lately. So I'm going to start off with this ochre color. Um, now this is a, like I said, this is a, this is a color, uh, the ochres, the yellows, browns, those are all things I've been kind of playing with, experimenting with a lot lately. I'm just going to scrub some of this down, kind of see where it's going to go. Um, maybe I'll pick up a little bit of this red. Maybe I'll just do a little bit of splattering. Just trying to think if I want to let this dry. I think I'm going to keep working. Just use a little bit of this darker color just to bounce around in there, see what's going to happen. All right, well, got something started. Let's go ahead and dry that. Okay, so sometimes whenever we're playing around and experimenting, you know, we can get really kind of concerned like, oh, what if, what if I mess up? What if it's not a masterpiece? Well, I think we have to kind of expect that. We have to understand that not everything that we do is going to turn out perfectly. And, you know, I might end up just completely hating what this thing turns into, um, or it might just lead me into a new direction. Um, so I think, so I grabbed this mustard color, which I've used a lot. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm just going to start drawing in some lines. You know, I think we need to kind of understand that, like, you know, we do things and sometimes it turns out great. And sometimes we just want to play and experiment. And if we get really hung up on like, oh, it's it's got to be this this thing that I want to hang on the wall. I know I've talked about this before, but 
it's just uh, we have to be willing to make bad art. I mean, that's we have to be able to to try things and fail. Um, you know that there's that notion that like you know artists just don't they you know the the the, the best artists the famous artists you know all they do is just crank out masterpieces. But it's like no, you you, you get a masterpiece here and there, or you get something that you really like, and then you know a whole lot more is just not a masterpiece so all right so that gives me a little something let's go ahead and dry that Okay. Yeah, just uh, I'm I'm just gonna start throwing stuff in here and see what what starts to stick. Just gonna try to be spontaneous and. I think as we get more experience with stuff, you know, we we can kind of deal with the stuff that isn't working out that well. Um, or I think a lot of times we also kind of just learn to trust our instincts. Whereas, like, if you're first starting out, then you know that might be a little bit, a little bit harder to do. Um, just trying to think if I want to do anything else with this color that I have. So this is baked earth. It's a so again, these are the Derwent Ink Tense pencils. And so it's kind of a terracotta, a reddish brown color. So just kind of being open to that notion that like, okay, this is this may or may not work out, and I'm okay with that. Or maybe, you know, maybe it works out to some degree. So here lately, I've been feeling like I've boxed myself in. Um, and actually, I kind of intend that as a pun because I end up, I end up doing a lot of squares and rectangles. And so if you're familiar with my work, yeah, I do a lot of squares and rectangles and, you know, kind of box myself in. It feels very geometric. So I'm trying to, trying to break out of that. And so I find that just being a little experimental, trying different things, you know, trying to do more organic lines and shapes. picking up a little bit of uh, a color out of the paint tray that's called dusky purple i think that's what it is so it's a it's a violet color and it just you know just to, again throw something else in there it, it kind of looks a little bit brown because of it mixing with that the yellowish colors that are down already Let's go ahead and dry that.
Uh, you know what? I'm going to bring this back over. I want to get some of this yellow. The one thing about these ink dense pencils, I actually really a lot of uh, water soluble materials like watercolor pencils or even the watercolor paint. So this, the paint I use is the Derwent ink tense uh, paints. So it's kind of like the same stuff as their pencils. Um, you know, it looks, it can look really bright and vivid whenever it first goes on because it's wet. And then when it dries, it kind of loses some intensity. So I'm really trying to like, I'm trying to make it pop a little bit. Um, let me go ahead and dry that. I think I'll choose a slightly darker the willow, which is a kind of a darker brown. Just trying to layer up a whole bunch of stuff. We'll see what ends up kind of, well, see if anything kind of ends up working with it. Sometimes whenever I'm just in that experimental mode, I, I try not to be too precious with it and I try to work quickly. Sometimes what I'll do, and I've done this before on Mixed Media Mondays, I'll have a number of pieces and I'll work on a small grouping, just trying some of the same things. And then usually what I find is whenever I'm working on several different things, like you know, usually like one or two of them really kind of starts to work, but... Um, yeah, so if you're always trying to make like that masterpiece, if you're always trying to make a, a piece that's like going to be ready to hang on the wall that, you know, you want to show off all over social media and be like, oh, look, look at this great thing that I made. Um, you know, sometimes it's, sometimes it's nice to see that stuff on social media. It doesn't work out where the artist goes, oh, check this out, <laughs> you know, because, you know, there might be things that we like about it. Um, but, you know, maybe it just doesn't turn out the way we had hoped, or maybe it's just not all of it's working. Let's go ahead and try that. Grab this red, which is a poppy red, and uh, just gonna. I like these kind of oval type shapes. So maybe I'll do some more. So I've kind of just been ignoring what's underneath, like what's down there. Um, just really building up layers. I think I'm going to put one more right here. So I hadn't didn't have anything really touching this side. So like this shape touches the top and this side 
the shape down here touches the bottom. Didn't have anything touching this edge over here. So put that little bit in there. Okay. I actually think that I'm going to stop there, not because I'm in love with this, not that I feel like it's finished or resolved or completed, but I just, you know, I just wanted to get something going. I, I might just completely abandon this, or maybe this is something I'll pull it out next time and work on it. Um, but I, there's some things I like about it. I mean, I like the, the red that I just added. Um, but one of the things I really like, I like this dark line that's coming up through here um, and then that line so there's some interesting layering things that are like happening so I don't know what's going to become of this but uh, you yeah, know we'll see see if it ends up becoming something more uh, in a future episode yeah right well you know it I know I didn't end up with something that's ready to hang on the wall and um, and that's okay uh, I think we, you know, we really have to be open to experimenting, trying things, open to failing, uh, open to, to, to things not working out. Um, and then sometimes when we just sit down and we feel lost or we feel like we don't know what to do, just starting to play, starting to try some different things. And oftentimes trying to break out of the same old things that we, we typically do. So trying to break out of the, the comfort zones. And actually I'm kind of thinking with, with this piece or maybe in some future pieces, maybe moving into some other uh, materials that maybe I, I don't use so much, you know, again, trying to break out of my comfort zone. So anyway, just something, um, you know, just something to get, get started with uh, and we'll see if this goes any further, but um, so glad that you were able to tune in. And remember, if you have questions or comments or concerns, uh, post them down there in the comments and I'll try to try to address them in some way. Um, and you know, if you like what you've been seeing, don't forget to share it. Don't forget to like it. Don't forget to uh, you know post a comment. And um, yeah, I hope you've been enjoying the series. If you haven't uh, checked out the series much, there's a whole bunch of other episodes that you can check out. So anyway, I appreciate you being here. Appreciate you tuning in. And until next time, thank you so much. And as always, happy creating.